I didn't have the prettiest childhood. My parents split when I was young. So we moved into a two bedroom apartment. There were seven kids and three adults before we luckily got accepted into a notorious Ontario housing complex. I was about four or five when I had my first real experience with racism. And I was holding on to my little sister as a group of older kids ran around us making all these funny noises and calling us savages, which is a word I didn't even understand at the time. Years later, when I moved to Alberta to work, a stranger approached me wanting to pay me for sex. He figured because I was native, I must be easy. All these things made me feel like society expected me to be ashamed to be an Aboriginal, but I was lucky. As I got older, I found fantastic teachers, ones that didn't look at me as someone different or at risk or even someone special. I was just a person. That term, at risk, I've always hated that term. It assumes that because we have different economic situations and we look different, we're automatically going to make bad decisions. We're not going to be productive or have successful lives. Today, everything that people thought would make me weaker made me stronger. I love where I live, I love where I work, and I love the strong sense of community I have. And I think the important thing to let kids know is that there's someone out there who has had to go through things like you have, who has managed to make positive things come out of it. You may not live in the greatest places. You may not have the easiest paths, but there will be people along the way to help you who want to see you succeed. My name is Dawn. I'm a mentor. It doesn't matter who you are, or what you look like, or where you're from. You can be one too.